Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I'm a flight attendant for an airline in the United States of America. So my last video was all about working on Thanksgiving and this video is my actual layover on Thanksgiving day in El Salvador. This was an incredible country. I am so happy that I traded into this trip. So please sit back and enjoy the beauty of El Salvador. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I told you I was going on an adventure and here I am starting with the adventure. I'm here with the lovely Rebecca. Hi. She's a gate agent. I met her last time I was here for a quick like 13 hours and she was like, you have to come with me. And for I was sure. like, I'm gonna come with you. And I'm here with Tyler. Hello, hello. He's a flight attendant. He's working the trip with me. So we are all in this adventure together. Hello, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> and Carlos is driving us. He's in there. He'll probably be in the video later. He just doesn't know it yet. All right, stop number one. We're here, and this is Lake Guatepeque Lake. Okay, see, I'm not going to ruin that word because it's beautiful, and I don't want to mess it up. But we're going to do something else at this lake, correct? Yeah, maybe later we'll go for lunch. Okay, but now we're going to go to the Santa Ana volcano. So we've got a little bit of a little bit more of a drive, and then we will. Yeah, I'll, we'll see. I'll take you guys along. Let's go. All right, everyone. Nosotros estamos en el Montepec here. This is super cool, super beautiful. Wasn't expecting for the water down there to be so turquoisey, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love. So this definitely exceeded all my expectations. And Rebecca is the best tour guide, and so is Nacho, and so is Tyler. Let's go. All right, so what you just saw was us hiking up to the Santa Ana volcano. And here you're seeing us hike down. Overall, it is about a four mile hike, but we stopped a lot because our tour guide was giving us a lot of information. But I wanted to give a shout out to Tyler, which is the guy that I was working with because he is the best for getting all these amazing shots of us walking down the mountain. It's really hard for me to record and hike at the same time, but clearly he does an amazing job. So thank you so much to Tyler for making this video extra special. All right, stop number two is Guatapeque Lake. But apparently this is like ritzy area, so you have to be like, you know, the private owners yeah. of these places. So this is the closest that we're gonna get to the lake. Close enough. <laughs> All right, everyone, our last stop of the day is this beautiful west coast of El Salvador. Sunset, absolutely gorgeous, stunning. Rebecca has been the absolute best tour guide on this planet. I'm so thankful for her. She really showed me and Tyler an amazing time. And Tyler, what do you think? A great trip. Glad to be here. Have you been having fun? Yeah, couldn't have been. Well, thank you for bringing me. Yeah, of <laughs> course, of course. Yeah, we've had a blast. Honestly, Rebecca, you're the best. You're thank you. Welcome. Muchas gracias por todo. You're very Good official morning, everybody. It is the next day. It is almost 4.40, which is my pickup time, so I'm kind of rushing out of my hotel room. 
Last night when I came in, I was so tired and I was so sunburned. You can kind of see right here. Yeah, no bueno. I definitely feel sunburned, like I'm tired, but I'm good. Um, so I'm gonna go, we have a deadhead from El Salvador to Miami. So I'm gonna take a little snoozer right now and I will see you guys in Miami. Okay, good morning again, everyone. I feel a little bit more brought back to life at this current moment. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning and our next flight is going to be to Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, and then right back here to Miami and then we are done for the day. So today is a three leg day, although the first leg was a deadhead. I just really wanted to come in here and say thank you so much to Rebecca for showing Tyler and I around. Rebecca is a gate agent for um, the company that I work for. So we, I met her one time going to El Salvador and we hit it off really well. And so she was like, next time you're here, definitely let me know. So I specifically traded into a trip with a 30 hour layover because I, in El Salvador, because I knew I was gonna work on Thanksgiving anyway. And I figured I would, I wanted to go on an adventure and she was so sweet to plan everything out for us. And I'm always someone that invites the crew with me, almost always. Of course, I try to feel everybody out, see if we're gonna mesh well together. But on a day like Thanksgiving, I always invite the crew to whatever I'm gonna do or my plans. So I did invite everybody. Two other guys didn't wanna come, and then the pilots also didn't wanna come, which is totally fine, I understand. Um, I did tell a lot of people that I was gonna be doing stuff in El Salvador, and it seems like there was a lot of misconception around what there is to do in El Salvador. A lot of people have made it seem as if there is a nothing to do there and it's just completely unsafe and just like what could you possibly want to do there and this video is to show that there is plenty of things to do there um, in regards to safety I think everybody needs to make that judgment call for themselves I probably wouldn't have gone out and done all these things without Rebecca but I was considering going on a tour that was like on Viator or somewhere that you can book the website on an official site that's safe and protected. But in this case, I had Rebecca, so I figured I would take full advantage of it. Um, I know that any country and any place in the world can be unsafe and you just have to use your best judgment and, your, and be ca cautious in anything that you do. Of course, we I didn't go up by myself. I wasn't alone. I didn't just like uh, wear jewelry with me and I was it was completely fine. It was extremely safe There was a lot of tourists actually on the volcano hike that we did and then also the place we went to eat and The lake were also pretty touristic areas. So anyway, just to say that it was beautiful and I feel like So many people have this negative concept behind it going to places in Central America South America or just places that aren't really known to most travelers or maybe just most Americans in general. But overall, I had an incredible time. Uh, I know Tyler had fun as well, at least that's what he told me. So I'm really happy that I was able to share that experience with him. And I'm very happy that I was able to meet Rebecca and she was able to take me on such an incredible journey. Seriously, she made me feel so welcome. And it was just, I mean, I'm speechless at how great it was. 10 out of 10 to her and to the overall beauty of the country of El Salvador. And I'm really inspired to go back one day and see more because it was absolutely amazing and breathtaking, I will say. I mean, if you see this video, I'm sure you'll think it's breathtaking as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end that little chat here and get ready for this turn that we're about to do. All right, everyone, I am officially home. I just got my car and drove home, so I was so tired after that. Overall, four day, couldn't really get much sleep last night, and then this three leg day today. So I'm home, I am done. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope you were all able to spend Thanksgiving with your loved ones, and if not, I hope you had a fantastic day. Also, as you saw, I was in El Salvador yesterday. It was a beautiful and amazing layover. Once again, Rebecca, she truly was an angel, and. 10 out of 10 tour guide. Very blessed right now for having the Thanksgiving that I did. It's never easy to be away from your family and your friends, especially when they're all together. But at least when you're doing something that you love, it's a little bit less 
lonely. So I am very grateful to have spent Thanksgiving the way that I did. And now I am home and I can spend Thanksgiving with people that I love as well. So it all works out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all your support and I will see you in the next one. Beijing, ciao, ciao.